In an effort to eliminate acts of violence against women and children in the kingdom, government has established two committees which will mobilize resources to implement anti-violence related programs. The committees were announced by the Deputy Prime Minister at Sibane Hotel today. We have a report. African Union Council of Ministers responsible for gender made a recommendation that all member states in the continent should work hard to eliminate violence and women abuse. In 2010, Her Majesty the End of Gas launched the national gender policy in the kingdom. Since then, Swaziland has staged several meetings on how to eliminate violence. The Deputy Prime Minister's office then initiated the establishment of two committees, which are the High Level Tax Force on Violence and the multi sectoral team on violence through cabinet's approval. Both committees were officially presented to the nation at Sibane Hotel by the Deputy Prime Minister, who also launched three documents that will operationalize the national gender policy. And these are the National Strategy and Action Plan to End Violence in Swaziland, the National Study on the Drivers of Violence, and the National Gender Index. When making his remarks, the UN resident coordinator to the Kingdom, Israel Dezerling, said all governments are committed on fighting violence and His Majesty's government is no exception. This is evidence of government's determination to address this social challenge and the country's commitment to continue engaging in addressing pressing national challenges while responding to international commitments. Both committees will provide policy guidance on violence-related programs, facilitate the approval of pending legislations and policies, amongst other duties. This is in line with the recommendations from the 2014 Global Conference on Violence Against Children and the 2015 Country Hosted National Conference on Violence, both hosted in Switzerland where the establishment of a national coordination mechanism on violence was identified as critical and that which required urgent attention. These four initiatives were, we are also launching today and they form part of the Department of Gender and Family Issues, Targets for Southland's Development Agenda 2018. Violence is more than a public health issue, but a human rights imperative. Statistics show that one in three women is sexually abused before the age of 18. For Society News, I'm Linton Kule with Smova Shongwe, Esuluni.